Welcome everyone. In this video, we will be discussing how to convert a mnemonic instruction in Marie assembly into a hexadecimal instruction. So just like this example, we have here mnemonic instructions. You have load 104, add 105, and so on. And there is an equivalent hexadecimal instruction. Our goal for converting this one, these mnemonic instructions into decimal instructions is that so that we will be able to check if these hexadecimal instructions are really the contents of the memory, the what's inside each memory address. Say for example, in this memory address 100, 100, the instruction is 1104. So if, if the computer or the processor sees this instruction, so it interprets this as load the value at address 104. To do that, uh, let's first go to marie.js.org and click on uh, the help, then instruction set. And here we can see the different um, instructions and their corresponding of code. Okay, we have here add, the say for example, the equivalent of add is three hex now the, of code. So subtract is four, add i is b, and so on. I have here an example code, so which, which can be implemented in Marie. I'll just have to copy this one into an Excel file. Okay, and here in this column, I will place here a column name as address. Okay, now as you, here you, it says that the um, when running the, the program, it starts at it start reading at uh, address one zero zero, which means this instruction here should be at address one zero zero. Then we'll increment the addresses. So that will be until uh, 109. We'll stop at 109 because rem uh, these addresses are expressed in hexadecimal, so which means that's base 16. And the next one should be 10A, followed by 10B, 10C, 10D, 10E, and 10F. So that consists of the 16 digits in the hexadecimal system. That's 0, 2, F. Since we are done with F, it goes back to zero and it becomes 110, then 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119. Uh, the next one is 118, 11B, 11, and 11B only. So this is the last uh, address in this program. After so since we now have the addresses, okay, we will convert this into, okay, these uh, mnemonics will be converted into their equivalent hexadecimal instruction. So how do we convert this one? By the way, these are uh, columns D contains the labels column E contains the mnemonic codes and column F contains all the, uh, in, in, these are the instruction um, or let's say the address, commonly the address, addresses. Okay, now how do we convert load ADDR into an hexadecimal? First, we'll go to our help, Marie. We'll try to check what is the equivalent of code of the add a load instruction? So here, the load instruction is equivalent to 1. Okay. Now, the instruction should be or should contain four hexadecimal digits. Now, we only have one. Now, this is the most significant hexadecimal digit, and this contains the remaining three. So ADDR, that means... Um, what where is ADDR 
located. So we'll look here into our labels. These are here, these are labels here. So we will look into our labels where is ADDR located. Since ADDR is at address 111, that means our equivalent code is 1 and the address of ADDR, that's 111. Next, we have store. Now, what's the equivalent hexadecimal of code for store? That is 2. So, we should start at 2. Then the remaining is at next. Now, next is at address 112. So, this is 2112. Next, we have load. So, load is 1. The num label is at 114. So, that's 114. Next is subtract. Okay, let's look for subtract, and that's 4. So this is 4, and 1 is at 116. So that's 4116. Next is store. Store is 2. CTR is at 115. So that is 215. Next is load, that's 1. Sum is at 114. So that's 1114. Add I. Add I is equivalent to B. So that should be B. B. And next. Next is at 112. Then we have store is 2. Uh, sum is at 114. Next we have load is 1. Next is at 112. Add is, uh, we don't have add yet, so we'll look for the equivalent. Yeah, opcode of add x, uh, add rather, that's 3. So that's 3. 1 is at 116, address 116. We have store, that's 1, uh, two, 2 rather. Then CTR is at 115. Load is 1. Ah, sorry about that. We are actually looking for next. So that's 2112. Then we have a load. Load CTR. So CTR is at 115. So that's 1115. Subtract is 4. 1 is 11 at 116. Store is 2. CTR is at 115 skip condition so skip condition and we have here a comment that should be less than that the control variable is less than zero now here skip condition so that's equivalent to eight and since the condition is it should be less than zero so the equivalent is zero 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 so our code here will be eight zero 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 then jump, so the equivalent for jump is 9, that's 9, and loop, the label loop is at 105, so we have halt, so what's the equivalent for halt? That's 7, so that's end of the program, so that's 7, and since there are no values here, so that's actually 0, 0, 0. So the program ends here. Now, it does not proceed to the next lines, but in the memory, this will also have, now these addresses will also have equivalent values, and that is in hexadecimal forms of this one. So this is, now remember that um, the code should be in four hexadecimal digit. So if we place here in Excel, 117 will be just 117. So we'll have to convert them into text okay text yeah so that's 017 so that we can see the zero and then hex zero is zero 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 we'll have zero 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 five we have zero 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 and zero 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 we also have zero 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 one next decimal 10 now take note that these decimal values should be converted into hexadecimals when stored in the memory so we'll convert 10 decimal into hexadecimal so that's 0008 
15 is 0, 0, 0, f. How about 20? Now, if you don't know how to convert, so we can use a calculator. Just uh, click this one here, then go to programmer. So click on deck, that's decimal. So we'll type 20. So that's equivalent to hexadecimal 14. So this is 0, 0, 1, 4. Next is 25. So let's type 25. That's 19. So that's 0, 0, 1, 9. And we have 30. So that's Z, uh, 1E. So that's 0, 0, 1E. We now have our equivalent hexadecimal code. Now let's hide this for a while. Hide. Okay, then we'll go to Marie. There is an equivalent um, downloadable software of Marie, but I'll be using marie.js.org. Then I'll copy the code, paste it in this area here. I'll just remove the last line. Okay, then I'll click on assemble. Once I click the assemble, the memory list, so the memory of of this um, architecture or of this of this computer, Marty, will be shown. So click on assemble. Here we now have the memory of Marty. Now these are the addresses. Uh, the rows specify the uh, start of the address. Uh, the columns specify how much do we add so that we can find the equivalent address of a certain cell. Say, for example, this cell is address one, uh, zero, zero, zero. Now, when I move here, I should add one. So the address, instead of zero, 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 I add one. So th this address here, so this cell is at zero, zero, one. This is at zero, zero, two, zero, zero, three, zero, zero, four, zero, zero, five. 007 and so on. Then we go down. Now the last address is at 00F. Then we go to the next row. This this address is at 010. This is at 011, 012, and so on. Now, how about this one? So we'll just um, check on the row. That's 050, then plus 6. So this is address 056. Now, based on our program, uh, the storage, no, the storing of data or instructions is should st uh, will start at 100. Now the address 100. So we look for address 100, and here it is. Now as you can see, after we assemble, there are now values stored in each of the cell, now in each of um, the memory address. Now we'll check if this address, we'll check if uh, our conversion is correct. No, if we have um, converted the the mnemonics into correct into the correct instruction in hexadecimal, so we have here at 100 the instruction is 1111. So let's check. So this is 1111, and we're correct. At 101 address, so the instruction is 2112. We're still correct. And this one is. 1114. So what's the, let's check now. I, we have done it wrong. Maybe. Uh, load num. Uh, okay, num. I, I'm wrong. So num is at address 113, not 114. Okay. So one mistake for me. I'll hide them again so that I can easily uh, see. No, or check e my codes. So we have here uh, 4116 for address 103. Yes, yeah, correct. We have 2115 and 114 at address 105. Then we have B112, 2114, 1112, 3116, 2112. Then let's move the scroll. Then we have 1115 at 10, 10B. So here, 1115, 
8000 and 9105. So far, okay, it's good. No, we, don't, we only have one mistake on address 102. How about the next line? Okay, we have at 110, we have 700, followed by 0117, 000, 0005, four zeros. For 114 and 115, three zeros and a one at 116, three zeros and an A at 117, three zeros and an F at 118, then we have 0014, 0019, and 0018. Okay, I have shown you how to convert a code, the mnemonic code, into their equivalent hexadecimal code. And again, these codes are stored in the memory the hexadecimal codes. So this would be for today. Thank you for watching this video.